What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can easily optimize windows 10 services now in my previous video i showed you what uh, windows 10 services are safe to disable and uh, there was quite a few uh, people saying things like uh, is print spooler safe to disable well if you're asking that question maybe you shouldn't be disabling services because print spooler is to do with a printer and if you haven't got a printer you then you don't need to use it and you can disable it but if you have got a printer then you want to leave that enabled and if you're using a printer in an office or on a network you want to also leave print spooler enabled and this could be said with any type of service so as i said before if you don't know what you're doing with services leave them well alone but if you do want to tweak them and uh, get some performance boost out of it or whether you want to disable those annoying um, type uh, data collecting type services that are sent back to microsoft then you can also uh, tweak and disable those. Now there is a program you can use, uh, which I wanted to do a video on, and it's it's safe to uh, use. I've uploaded it to Virus Total, and it is safe to use. It comes back clean, and it's called Easy Services Optimizer 1.1. And as you can see here, we've got some buttons down the bottom default safe tweet and extreme you can choose whatever version you want to use obviously if you feel like you're a bit nervous you can always use the safe option and if you didn't like it and you don't like the changes it's made you can always go back and save it uh, to back to the default again before you mess around with any of this stuff you should be making a backup of your system and your data just in case something goes wrong and also um, if you're not familiar with services or how our services work then probably best leave well alone so let's take a look at how it works and have a look at some of the functions so you can see here we've got some buttons here and that is called apply settings to marks uh, selected so this is basically going to apply the settings to this if I had it on safe and uh, applied this it would apply these settings to that safe um, selection that I've have here we also have restore mark services a start uh, start selected service also stop selected service and this is to stop a service uh, also add a new service and delete a selected service edit a selected service refresh list and also we have our open windows services window this is your default uh, service window which is built into windows and as you can see here if we look at say for instance all the services here they are on um, default settings uh, as you can see here all the hyper-v ones are all uh, manually uh, triggered start and stuff like that so we can make changes to this and put them back to the way we want to do it so let's take a look at some of the options we have here now also you can see here right click here and you can start a service check all uh, uncheck all select all add a new service delete a service and edit a service so if you edit a service it will show you exactly what it means uh, by looking at the safe and tweet and extreme so by default this is a manual uh, setting and if you select safe uh, a safe uh, selection here it will disable that feature also it will tweak it um, uh, by putting a disabled feature on there and also extreme will also add a disabled feature and you can change these if you wish but I would leave this well alone that's how it's been set up uh, by the guy who's created the program and you can see it gives you a bit of information about what the service does pretty much the same as what it would do inside Windows and you can choose uh, what you want to do with that so have a good look at, at the services itself and choose which version you want to use ie safe tweet or extreme so let's take a look at it in action and uh, we'll see what it does but before I do that I want to look at these drop down menus here now the service is exactly the same as what I just showed you here but the file does have a nice create registry file here which you can click on default and go file and create reg file and we're going to save this to our desktop and you can see it listed up here if I right click and edit this you can now see there's loads of uh, services inside here uh, which have been saved to a registry file which can be clicked on and put back so as I said it's a pretty nice little program it's got some good features to it some options here you've got your language so if you're from a different country and you've got a different language uh, that you speak you can also change it to any of these here 
Also under the help tab, you've got donate home page and contact and about. So there's some options there for you. So let's take a look at it in action. So I'm going to change it from default to safe and I'm going to apply all these settings which are ticked here. And you can see it running down. And uh, remember Hyper-V was set to manual triggered. So I'm going to open up the Windows services here and take a look at the Hyper-V area. And as you can see, Hyper-V has now been disabled and it's disabled all those uh, apart from this one. So if I want to put those back, all I need to do now is hit default and put apply settings. And if we look at the Windows services again, go back down to Hyper-V. You can see they've been put back to manual triggered. So that's basically how you can make changes to this. Now you also can do tweak settings if you wish, or you can go for the more extreme version uh, depending on what you want to do here okay so if you did want to go for the safe version you can just hit this apply and we're done and we now have tweaked our services and optimized them into the safe feature just like so so i hope this one helps you out guys my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button it really does help and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and notified when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that or video requests, you can always head over to my forums and join the community over there. It doesn't cost you anything and uh, you can post over there. Also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then head over there. All the information's on the screen right now. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.